It was December 8th, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. This right here is McKinley Avenue going this way is Century Boulevard. There was a cruiser, a police squad car coming this way. Just about the same time, Louis Espinosa, 26 of Long Beach, was crossing the street outside of the crosswalk and was hit by that police car and later died. That was four weeks ago. Now the LAPD has released this video that includes dash cam and surveillance images of what led up to the crash that killed Luis Espinoza. Police say the officer involved was assigned to the Community Safety Partnership Bureau. In this video, you can see Espinosa running across the street and ultimately into the path of the police car when the two collide. We're not showing that. Nothing, though, has been said specifically about what the emergency was that the officer was traveling to and whether she was dispatched or if the action or going code three, lights and siren, was self-initiated. It comes weeks after L.A. Police Chief Michael Moore, second from the left, told the L.A. Police Commission... A very serious concerns regarding the officer's driving leading up to this collision. Information we've gathered to this point indicates that in addition to her traveling at a high rate of speed, it appears she inappropriately activated her emergency lights as she traveled along Century Boulevard. So that means from the statements by the chief of police is that the code three, the red light and siren, which she used for emergency calls, was inappropriate. That's a problem. Former and L.A. police that, officer, yeah, police union leader, die. and L.A. council member Dennis Zine says there is so much that has not been said publicly about the case that it raises so many questions and appears very serious. He also says it's very rare. Whether the pedestrian was crossing legally or illegally, the question is, why was that unit going code three, a solo unit? Normally when it's a code three call, there's a two-person unit responding to that particular situation. LAPD has referred the case to the district attorney's office, who told us the matter has been presented to the office's Justice System Integrity Division for charge and consideration and is under review. In South L.A., I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.